چو این نام ور نام آمد به بن ز من روی کشور شود پرتخون از آن پس نمیرم که من زنده ام که تخم سخن من پراگنده ام I think the IHF have established themselves in the last 15 years as really the dominant force in supplying and providing funding for Persian studies. The success of this is uh, probably built on two factors. One is the dedication and commitment of the, the board. Uh, you know, I mean, they are, they really mean this. Uh, but also the huge support from the Iranian community in London and, and throughout Britain. With IHF support, we had this magnificent exhibition earlier in uh, 2010. If you look at the art of Persia, it is to the rest of Islam like Italy is to the rest of Europe. You can't tell the story of, for example, Islamic art without putting Persia at the very center of it. An exhibition like this, which is visited by tens of thousands of people, really make this heritage accessible People came from far and wide to see it, and I think it had a very uh, significant impact. And I think it's our job to build on that, actually, and uh, you know, see this as a step in bringing this um, civilization, you know, to the audience it deserves. We're dealing with a time when budget cuts are changing the whole face of education. So suddenly, there's nothing in the kitty. Who goes first? The peripheral subjects. And Persian, Persian studies, that's one of the peripheral studies. The Institutional Partnership Program is a new initiative launched by the IHF and the idea of it is to support academics, uh, university departments and museums to carry on their research into aspects of Persian history and culture. It does so by means of providing matching funds, so it's not a gift. They have to put something into the pot as well. These institutional partnerships are divided between museums and universities. The museums are the Victoria and Albert Museum in London and the Freer Gallery and the Sackler Gallery in Washington. As for the universities, we're dealing with St Andrews, Edinburgh and Cambridge. And then there's also the prospect in short order of further partnership at the British Library. Quite simply, the provision of this partnership allows us to appoint a three-year Persian instructor and with that we have the possibility of a full-scale Persian honours degree. Uh, starting next year we're hoping to be able to appoint a Persian language teacher. The language of course is the key really, I mean it's the key to the literature, it's the key to understanding the culture. Gulhoye Rangorang, Barnomiye Shomoreye Devisto Shastochaharebe The work and the funding that the Iran Heritage Foundation is putting into digitization projects is a way of bringing knowledge to your own front room. Because it's all bringing something out that's hidden. I mean, this is the important point, I think. So in all these cases, you know, it's stimulating the dissemination of knowledge and the actual confrontation with the artifacts and the objects themselves. We're in the moment uh, uh, exploring the possibility of establishing a partnership with the British Library to digitise the Persian, some of the Persian manuscript collection, which of course is very, very rich. This partnership is significant to us because it is the first digital catalogue of Persian manuscripts. We are, of course, particularly well placed to deliver this kind of project, and we have done so in another, for a number of other languages. With well over 10,000 Persian manuscripts in the British Library collections, we've got one of the largest and the most important collections in the world. Some of them are copies of very rare works indeed, but we also have world-class illuminated manuscripts reflecting the best miniatures from the whole of the Mughal and Persian period. The manuscripts that we're talking about here are old master paintings. You don't show the Mona Lisa to just everybody, get it out for them, let them handle it. If everybody could touch them, 
how wonderful that would be without any deterioration. By recording them digitally, making them available to people, we're able to restore the manuscript into its original condition. Part of this manuscript is preserved in the Chester Beatty Library in Dublin. We'll have the potential to be able to unite them all together and present the volume as it was originally, one volume for people to look at. The British Library also welcomes this partnership with the Iran Heritage Foundation because it represents for us what will be the beginning of hopefully a very long and fruitful relationship, delivering enormously improved access to our Persian manuscripts for scholars around the world. The future looks good because there's the gradual development of a sister organization in the United States, IHF America, and the aim there is to create a, a common network of interests so that the two organizations, the British and the American branch, support each other. It's only the Iran Heritage Foundation that is non-political, that has at its heart and I stress the word heart because there is a heart commitment among the people who run the Iran Heritage Foundation to help the study of Iranian history, of Persian history, culture, literature, art, everything that makes Persia Persia. We're going in new directions and this would not be possible without the seed corn funding that comes from the Iran Heritage Foundation. What does it mean to be a Persian in 2006? Yeah. Down through the hills, Lamborghini six ship. Yeah.